Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. How are we today? I hope we are well. I have been filming on a roll today, so forgive me if I'm a little bit spaced out. I don't mean to be. I've just filmed those videos today because I want one. So this video today we're going to be using the brand new, well, new-ish. I've had it for like a month-ish now. But new to my channel and kind of new to most of you as well. The um, palette that was released in collaboration between Makeup Revolution and Makeup by Jack, who is, of course, one of the most bomb YouTuber, Instagrammer, makeup artist, so talented, king of Instagram videos, such a fan of his, so palette. What more to say? So I'm gonna show you guys what is inside. You open it up, you've got a big huge mirror, which I love. And what I like about this is, sometimes Makeup Revolution kind of shrink their pans to make way for shade names, and they haven't done that here. You do get the little kind of insert with the names on it, which is quite cute. You can keep that and keep your palette safe. But the majority of the space in here is devoted to eyeshadow, which I really like. You've got a couple of different kind of color areas. So you've got this kind of warm family here, a bit warmer here, blues and yellows and stuff, and then kind of purples, peaches and orange. It's meant to be four kind of eye looks, but for me today, I kind of mix and match across a few. And um, there's a good mixture of mattes, good mixture of shimmers. For me, I really like this palette, so I won't go into too much detail, but it was a really nice palette to work with, so if you guys want to see how I created this look, then, well, before we go any further, you know the drill, hit subscribe, so if you want any future uploads from me, hit the bell, follow me on my social medias, and let's see how this purple smoky eye goodness came together. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes using the Urban Decay Eye Primer in Eden, which you guys know is my favourite primer, so I thought give this palette the best chance possible by using my favourite primer. That's what I did. So now the Makeup by Jack palette, beautiful palette, black on black, very bomb, very premium looking for Revolution. And then inside you've got like the palette that dreams are made of. So you've got colours, you've got neutrals, you've got the warm tones, you've got purples. Don't really know what I want to do today. Like part of me thinks like maybe I should go in with this kind of purple family here, the kind of peaches. Maybe I want to go then this kind of warm family, which is more my kind of comfort zone. Really like this blue and this yellow. They look really nice too. So I don't know what to do. I want to do some purple. I want a bit purple in the look. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna just start off by taking the shade Introvert on a little Morphe M506 brush, which is one of my favourite little kind of small blender brushes. And I'm gonna just start by stamping that on the outer corner. This is a kind of plummy wine purpley colour. Seems like it's going to be really nice. And I'm just kind of stamping that on. It's actually going on quite pigmented, which is really nice. And it's really building up easily. I think I want to do a spotlight eye today. So I'm going to just do the same on the inside and get it looking nice and even. Like, yeah, goes on really nicely. And what we're going to do I actually think I know what I'm going to do now. So I want to do a kind of spotlight eye, with that kind of really exaggerated style of spotlight that kind of comes all the way through the centre, like right the way up. So that's my plan. So we're just building that colour up. I'm taking it slightly above the crease, but what I'm not doing is joining the two colours together. But you can take it a little bit higher than what you think you should. I actually really wanted to film like a Kim K Met Gala look this year because her makeup for that was just like unreal but I never got round to it so we can kind of take that shape but do it more in kind of purpley tones today which I think will actually look really cute at least I hope it'll look cute if it's not I'll be sad and then on that same M506 I'm going to go into the shade Fiona which is the kind of paler lilac colour and we're going to use that to kind of smoke out that first colour so again, don't feel the need to connect the dots because I kind of want to leave this centre area of the spotlight open just so I can keep smoking out. This one's going on a lot stronger in pigment, which is really nice. And I'm kind of almost on this side bringing it out a little bit just so I have to something to smoke it into the lower lash line. That colour's going on really, really nicely. I really like that. This is borderline cool tone, which I know you'll never see me do again, so enjoy this while it lasts. Whenever I zoom in, my lighting always goes hella screwed up, so sorry if it does, but I want you guys to kind of see what I'm doing. It's another Morphe R brush, but I don't know the number because it's came off. And again, we're just using that to kind of further blend out that purple. Just using some more of the lighter shade Fiona. If I need to, I think it actually might be quite nice to add the peach tone. Yeah. 
I'll take a little bit of the shade really plum which is a nice kind of orangey peach just because that's quite nice for transitioning purple colours and we'll use that one just to hopefully soften the lilac. I was watching the video when um, Jack announced his palette and the thought process behind it and it was actually really cool like how it split into basically four little eye looks for beginners and it's got like everything you could need. I do kind of agree, it has got pretty much all the colours. What I do think it could do with is a little bit more of a blackened matte but again we can make that up ourselves so it's fine. And now that we've blended that out we're going back in with the first colours just to again build up the colour intensity. And you'll see we're getting a really nice purpley blend which is really cute. So I'm going to get a bigger fluffier brush again with some more of that peachy colour really plum. And we're just using that to really blow the colour out. Don't worry if you feel that you lose the kind of purple blend because you know I like to go like dark to light. But then I tend to, once I've got that blend going, I then would go light to dark again anyway. It's an extra step but it's quite fun and it kind of gets a really seamless blend. So now I'm going back in with the lilac shade Fiona. And again, I'm just repeating this step. It's so distracting when you're trying to keep that middle area like, untouched because all I want to do right now is blend my full crease and really deepen it up. I was actually going to do like a warm smoke, but I feel like I've I feel like I've been doing them too much recently. But then I actually looked through my YouTube and I realised that I've actually not been doing them recently because I'm trying to not do them as much. So we'll see if I get back into my warm brown habit. There is a palette coming out soon which I really want to use and also I just seen the when I filmed this like last night it was the night that Nervina from Anastasia Beverly Hills unveiled her Nervina palette and it looks really really nice so as much as I keep telling myself I'm not buying any more palettes I wouldn't put too much faith in me for that one. Because I've also seen that other Revolution one that's like the Blue Blood palette and that looks really nice too. So I think I want to try that. I really just wish Revolution would put me on their PR list. Okay, the colours actually blended really nicely. With Revolution palettes, you don't always get the most consistent level of colour payoff. Some of them are bomb and some of them not so much. This one's definitely fallen into the more bomb category. So I'm really impressed by it actually. It takes a lot to impress me with a palette. Again, we're just making sure the colour is really intense and we're seeing all the three colours that are blended together so I will just kind of repeat the steps. This is optional, the pigment in this palette is really nice so you're not actually really needing to, I just want to. Oh girl, what is this one? She's pretty. Oh, that one's beautiful. What is that called? Hun? Oh, wow. Okay, and then I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it in the middle of it. So in my plan for this video, I was going to do like a kind of cut crease moment because obviously Makeup by Jack is the king of the Insta cut crease. But I just touched one of the metallics and it was so nice that I wanted to just really foil that and use that to kind of carve out the crease. So I'm going to take the shade Hun, which is a nice kind of pinky rose colour. I'll wet my brush with some Morphe Prep and Sex. I really like that for foiling the shadow. Okay, I'm not because it's run out. So I'm going with some Fix Plus. Don't land on my phone. There we go. I'm just going to take that, if it works, right through the centre. Okay, she is gorgeous. And take it a little bit wider out because then when you kind of re smoke those colours in, it'll look really nice. Yeah, that colour is like, I was going to do the silver, but actually this one is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. For that kind of exaggerated Kim K spotlight look. I love that. I can't believe how nice that shimmer looked. What I cannot believe is how I can still never get this shape right on my eye shape without it going like hourglass. Oh my god, that's lovely. So we'll take a little bit more of that pale lilac shade just to diffuse between the metallic and the matte. Oh my god, I love this look. And it is kind of cool toned. Who would have thought it? That palette actually was a dream there. That was so easy to work with. £10. Was it even £10? I mean, what I always like to do with my shimmers is then take a little bit more on my finger. Just where I want to intensify the pigment payoff. 
Wow, I like that a lot. So I'm going to go with purple eye pencil. This is an MIX one. It's called Pretty Violet. Slight on glide on today and definitely a turn on extreme shine eyeliner. Yeah, got that. I actually have, I wanted to use one of these pens. I've got a few colours of these more. That These are these new MIX ones which are the Profet Pro Liners of Tropic. These are a great formula. I just don't have a purple. But I might have to look and see if I can get one because the formula of them is great. I'll use them in another video when I do my Bead on a Budget coming soon. But yeah, I'm going to just lay my waterline with a purple just to kind of finish the look off. Nice. And then I'm going to just smoke that out. So, so we're going to just start off by dipping into the introvert colour again. And we're going to use that to smoke out. Oh, how is that? With no fallout. And then suddenly... When it comes to the lower lash line, we're getting full out. And then again, a little bit of that shade Fiona. So we're just kind of copying all the crease colours. I'm doing them below. And then a little bit of that peachy shade. Just make sure it's super blended. So that looks looking really cute. So I'm going to just do the other eye off camera, pop on some lashes, and I'll meet you back here for the finished look. Okay, there we have it. That's the finished look. I popped on some lashes. I popped on a lip. Popped on my favourite lip gloss, Georgiana Ticia Peach Please. I thought it would be really nice to go with the purple because I've got that kind of peach in the transition. So I thought it would be quite nice. Overall, really, really, really liked how this look came together. I think you guys will agree this is a really cute look like this palette i think makeup by jack has a revolution they've killed it with this palette it's got so many good options especially for 10 pounds if you're wanting a kind of palette that'll do a little bit of everything then this is definitely one to bear in mind like see to be honest guys like, i was so impressed with the formula of these um shadows from revolution i have got a couple of palettes from revolution and they are quite hit or miss whether you like some of them are amazing some of them moving along um the formula of these was great the mattes i have been using this palette on and off as well like before filming this and the mattes have been really good there's really great colors really good transition shades really great warm shades the shimmers are like the star of the show the shimmers are something that i always struggle to get a shimmer that i really like but the formula of these is really nice they're super foiled they're super wet looking they're really creamy not chunky at all glide on so nicely so i think that the partnership between Revolution and Jack was definitely a good one. They really, really killed it with this. So, yeah, if you guys haven't got this palette yet, I would definitely recommend it because the colour quality of the shadows is just so, so, so good. And they're such a good colour variety as well. So, yeah, I really, really like this one. The purple look I went for today was really nice. The colours built up so nicely. I think the look was really nice. A bit different for me. Not warm brown. Well, it's still kind of warm, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so a few guys... Or on the fence about getting this palette, I would definitely recommend it. I think for the price, this is really good, really good. One of the best palettes I've ever used from a makeup revolution, to be completely honest. So yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads. Get me on Instagram, get me on Twitter. Hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment if you guys like this look. And if you want to see any other looks from me using this palette, and yeah, I know I'm being a pure weird mid today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm so sorry. But the look, I like. So it's all good. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.